Hi everyone, it's Tom, Mike 7, Mike, Charlie Quebec. Uh, thanks for coming along looking at this. Just had this delivered uh, a few minutes ago. I was going to buy, or I was thinking about buying, an MFJ259 or 269. You know, just to uh, do SWR uh, tests on antennas. And uh, I realised they're pretty damned expensive. So uh, I wasn't willing to pay, you know, three, four hundred pounds for uh, just a bit of experimenting. So uh, anyway, I found this thing, the Nano VNA. Uh, I know some guys have already got the uh, the smaller Nano VNA, but this is the Foxtrot model. It's, uh, it's a little bit bigger, basically. So uh, it doesn't do anything more, I don't think. It's uh, just bigger and it comes in a steel case, which is real nice. And the whole thing comes in this uh, protective plastic case, which is uh, pretty cool. Um, you've got this polystyrene and whatever it is form uh, just to keep everything uh, tickety boo so yeah very pleased with the uh, the presentation of it it comes with uh, a couple of sma cables which are uh, male at both ends i think yeah um you've got a straight through connector there and then a 90 degree elbow there uh, these three these are for calibration purposes so you've got um an open a short and a 50 ohm load um so uh yeah pretty cool quite uh, impressed with that let's just take it out of its case well yeah it feels real nice i mean it's 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 a steel case um it feels like it's got a little bit of weight i think they're about 600 grams with the uh, the steel case and the battery uh that's the back side of it the uh, the block diagram um so you've got uh, TX and RX, you're going to be using the TX uh, pretty much uh, most of the time. And then back here on the other end, you've got uh, the control. So you've got a Type-C USB, the on-off switch, uh, what well, looks like a, a Type-A USB, probably for recharging, looking at that. Um, an LED to show that it's on and uh, a jog dial. I say jog dial, it's not something that keeps spinning. You just hold it, prob, move it one way to move the menus up and down, this way, uh, the opposite way. And then once you've got your, uh, your menu selection, you press it and that, uh, that makes the uh, selection for you. So let's just switch it on. Okay. Oh, yeah, very nice. It's, um, it is a nice looking screen that, move that out of the way. Uh, very high resolution, uh, like I say, it's a four and a half inch uh, TFT screen, touch screen, so uh, this should bring the menu up, yeah, there you go. So you can control that menu with the, the jog dial, which is what I'm doing now, or you can just touch it and uh, it operates that way. Now, uh, it looks great in here, it really does look uh, very, very nice. I should imagine out in the sunshine, it's going to be, uh, you're going to have to shield it, it's not going to be that bright. And I, I can't see any uh, means of adjusting the brightness or contrast. Uh, maybe you could do it in the menus once you connect it to your PC. Uh, I'm not too sure. But anyway, it covers uh, 50k to uh, 1 gig. And uh, I believe there's a firmware update that improves that. It takes it up to 1.5 gigahertz. So uh, not that I'll ever use that. It uh, covers shortwave, medium wave, HF, VHF, UHF, and uh, everything else basically. It's got a dynamic range of uh, 40 dB. The uh, the battery is built in. It's a LiPo, so uh, that's very good too. So uh, yeah, I'm really pleased with that. Looking forward to uh, having a play around with it. In all fairness, all I'll be using it for is, um, you know, when you're experimenting with antennas and you want to check the uh, impedance and SWR, uh, it can do much, much more than that, but um, I probably won't be using it for that. Not uh, at this point. Maybe um, when I do a bit more studying and uh, get high grade license, I'll, uh, I'll find other uses for it. But uh, up to now, yeah, really pleased with that. It looks the business and uh, I'll get back to you and let you know if I um, want to do a bit more experimenting with it. Okay, thanks for watching. M7 MCQ.